Say, kids, what time is it? Time to run you up. What time is it? Yamadomarang you mob, are you well? We're currently on Darwall Country at Balambi Beach, which is a very special place. I'm going to talk about something I'd only heard recently after living in this area for years. A local legend shrouded in mystery. The Balambi Beach Sea Serpent. Settle in and allow me to set the scene. It's August of 1930. It's said that four reputable fishermen of the Lambie district jumped from their 18-foot boat, faces pallid with terror, as they declared they'd sighted a mammoth sea serpent and their boat had almost been inside its huge gaping mouth. B. Wiley, J. Lane, M. Guy and J. Richardson, described as four hardy fishermen of the coal mining district, were the second known group to have reported the Balambi Sea Serpent. The first, H. Hillier and J. Ross, sighted a monster of the same description and location two months prior, but were apparently howled down upon delivering their report. The first known written stories or observations of the Sea Serpent date back to 1028 AD, where it was told that St. Olaf slayed a sea serpent in Valdal, Norway. Wild! Anyway, we'll take it back now from the Norwegian Sea to the Pacific Ocean. But yeah, a sea serpent in Balambi? Who'd have thought? I dug a little deeper and there were other recorded sea serpent sightings right up and down the east coast of this continent. The following story appearing in the Bowen Independent Monday, the 18th of May, 1936. About eight feet long, it was an ugly looking customer and looked like the artist's conception of a sea serpent with its head clear of water and body arched in two places in approved fashion. How's the lingo in the article? Full proper English. The Bowen incidents and others I've read about seem to describe the oarfish, king of herrings. I don't know if you've seen footage of an oarfish before, but they are really majestic and magical. Shimmering metallic silver with shiny antler sort of things dangling behind the head. Beautiful. Was the Blamby Sea Serpent an oarfish? Not impossible, but an oarfish has this kind of cute, almost like a beak, not a huge, terrifying, gaping mouth. Tell me what you think. Sea serpent, or fish, or something else entirely. I'd like to share a Wiradjuri word with you all today. As a nine-year-old Wiradjuri Palawa kid, living with Injamara, gentle respect, on Darawal country, the word I'm going to share is Gabun. Gabun means great. Gabun country, Gabun story, Gabun track. And it would be Gabun if you could like, subscribe, share, and join me again real soon. Yeah, this was fun. Goodbye you, later, bye.